235 kilometers in Victoria, Australia. This is a really stern test. The winning time is normally pushing eight hours, which gives you an idea of the scale of this ride and its three big climbs. But it's on this list as much because of the stunning scenery as the challenge. Levi's Grand Fondo. This is one of the most famous Grand Fondos in the US and takes in some stunning scenery on the Californian coastline. Started by pro rider Levi Leipheimer, it's now in its fifth year and is growing in popularity with each edition. The Dragon Ride. The Dragon Ride is one of the toughest sportives in the UK, in the rugged and beautiful mountains of South Wales. The weather is famously poor and the roads are tough with sluggish surfaces. That 216 kilometres will feel a lot longer. 140 kilometres on the 17 iconic bergs of Flanders. It takes place the day before the pro race, so you can emulate your heroes and then watch them a day later. Or for 2013, celebrate the first ever Tour of Flanders 100 years ago by riding a special 324 kilometre route, the same length as the original race. Mallorca 312, a full lap of the island of Mallorca, but cruelly starting off in the Taramontagna Mountains, so your legs will be hurting well before halfway. Mallorca's roads are incredibly beautiful, which should make the 312 kilometres pass quicker and the tarmac is some of the smoothest around. Paris-Roubaix in northern France is 212 kilometers long and with 54 kilometers of iconic pavé, the rough cobbles of the ancient farm roads that cross the region. It closely follows the route of the eponymous race and features traffic-free roads. Riding pavé has to be experienced to truly understand how tough this is on both body and bike. The Gran Fondo Santini, 151 kilometres in the Dolomites of Italy, including two daunting mountain passes and a fearsome 4,058 metres of total ascent. The Mortarolo is the first, famously the climb that even Lance Armstrong feared, and we all know what he was up to. It finishes at the very top of the Stelvio, the highest paved road in Europe, so the final 30 kilometres are uphill. The Marmotte is one of the most famous European sportives, set in the Central Alps and crossing some of France's most iconic climbs. The sting in the tail is the summit finish at the top of Alpe d'Huez. The Haute Route. This is billed as the hardest sportif in the world. Seven days long with 866 kilometres and 21,000 metres of climbing. It crosses the length of the Alps from Geneva to Nice and it's as close to stage racing as you can get. It even has a time trial stage. The Etape du Tour in France is not the hardest nor the longest sportif, but it is the classic and the original. It faithfully follows a stage of the Tour de France each year. The location and the route of the attack varies, but it's normally in either the Alps or the Pyrenees, and it always features some epic climbing and stunning scenery. So this is GCN's list, but what's yours? Let us know your favourite sportif in the comments section down below. In trial champion Alex Dowsett takes overshoes to a whole new level. You have an unlimited budget, the lighter your bike is, the easier the fight against gravity will be.